Usually when you complain on Twitter, nothing good happens. But in this case, someone came and solved the problem for me. So on Twitter, I said, imagine if duplicate worked like this. Repeat items immediately after right edge or including silence if there's a time selection or just items if outside of time selection or entire area if there's a razor selection or track if last selected. You know, I just wanted to vent there, but Aaron Senden, like a boss, comes in and immediately starts working on that script. He puts it up in Repack for free and so it's called Ascendin Reaper Blog Duplicate Items or Tracks Depending on Focus and Time Selection. Lua. So again, this is in Repack. So let's go to repack.com, go to the repository list, and Aaron Sendin is right here. So you just grab that link, put that into Repack. The package is called Reaper Blog Smart Duplicate. Personally, I call it Smarter Duplicate because uh, MPL had a Smart Duplicate script. If we go into the About page, and inside it's just this one script. Uh, the actual script is called Reaper Blog Duplicate Items or Tracks Depending on Focus and Time Selection. Lua. So let's first talk about how Duplicate works within Reaper. There's several actions, several situations where you need to use different actions. I'm going to take the duplicate items action and add that to command D. And so it works like this. If I have an item selected, I press command D and it repeats it immediately after. It moves the edit cursor to the side and I can just repeat that several times. That works okay. So what if I have a time selection for an item? That's going to duplicate the item. It's not going to move the time selection. And that's basically it. What if I have a time selection that includes silence? So I have this item selected and some silence. Command D. It duplicated within that selection and it didn't follow the time selection. Not ideal. And if I have a smaller selection of an item, that's going to repeat it after the end of the item. It is not duplicating within the time selection. And if I want to duplicate a track, command D does not work. So it's not intuitive, doesn't really work. How about for razor edits? If I have a razor edit for just part of this item and duplicate that, that's going to follow that, moves my razor edit to follow the item, and I can repeat that over and over. That works great, actually. So I don't want to lose that functionality. Let's swap this over to duplicate select area of items same shortcut. So in this case, if I have a time selection, that's going to duplicate that. What if I have a time selection that includes two items? And duplicate that. That did both items. Now what if I had a time selection including silence, one item selected, and that does keep the time selection, which is good. If I select the track, that does not work. If I have a razor edit, that, that keeps the regular duplicate function, which is good. So that's pretty close. I can make small selections and duplicate that, and it repeats it immediately after. It moves my time selection over, moves my edit cursor over. That's all good, except for single items. You can't duplicate single items without making a time selection first and you can't duplicate tracks. So that's not gonna work. I need a hybrid of duplicating tracks and duplicating items. A long time ago, MPL made a smart duplicate items action. And so I'll swap to that one. I'm just going through all these different actions to show you all the things that I've been through over the years with duplicating and how I've never been satisfied until now uh, with these duplicate functions. I'm just always using the wrong one at the wrong time where I just want to use one key and it knows what I want to do. So single item, command D, that duplicates immediately after. Both items are selected though. And okay, it repeated that again, not exactly what I wanted. And then for some reason there's a gap. So that shouldn't happen. So this script has a bug. That's not going to work. If I have a time selection, and duplicate that, it's doing the whole item, 
And then for some reason it adds in a gap and each time you duplicate, it gets longer and longer. So that's not going to work either. So unfortunately, smart duplicate has a bug. So now we're on to the action that Aaron made for me, duplicate items or tracks depending on focus and time selection. Let's assign that to command D. If I have a single item selected, I can duplicate that and it just moves it over, repeats it as if it was the same as the, that original duplicate items action. If I have a time selection including silence, that will duplicate that, including the silence. Uh, if I have a razor edit for a area of an item, I can duplicate that. So the standard um, razor edit functionality is there, including uh, if I have selection like this, including silence, that's all good. That is working as it should. Um, one thing that we may change with this um, it's not really an issue because we have razor edits, but if I have a time selection with just a, an area of items and duplicate that, it's going to duplicate the whole item. Real world, I haven't noticed that coming up. So uh, so yeah, razor edit covers that situation. We can always undo and, and switch that to a razor edit uh, to get that smaller section of an item. Um, or you could split it first, but... Maybe this will be changed by the time you watch this. And then the other thing, intuitively, can I duplicate tracks? Yes, Command D will duplicate a track now. I'll undo that. If I select tracks one and two, um, guitar one and guitar two, if I duplicate that, this is following the default function for Reaper. The, the duplicate of guitar one goes immediately after, and then the duplicate of guitar two goes to the end of the selected items or selected tracks. Maybe I'll get him to swap this around to the alternate way where it would be guitar one, guitar two, guitar one, guitar two. To me, that's kind of a minor issue. Let's undo that. So I duplicate, press X to delete, select the last track, press V. That puts the two duplicated tracks immediately after. And yeah, you might prefer that. It's actually a couple of configuration lines that we can customize the behavior of this. So horizontal scroll to duplicated items, uh, just change false to true, or I think it, the default will be true. And move edit cursor to start of duplicated items. I think that also defaults to true. My preference, set them to false, then control S or command S to save the script. And if you want it how Aaron prefers, keep it on true. So I'll show you what this is like when you put these on true. We'll start with the scrolling to duplicated items. So if I grab this item, duplicate it, you see it stays centered. Uh, the view stays centered on that item that you're duplicating. So that is pretty neat, but not exactly how I like to work. My preference is with that off. which looks like this. It just keeps moving to the right until it hits the end of the page and then it scrolls over. That's how I've been used to it and that's how I prefer, but the option is there if you want to change it. And then there's also move edit cursor to start of duplicated items. So when it's on false, the edit cursor moves to the end of the item. And when this is true, it puts it back at the start. You know, this is just kind of a visual thing for me. Like it doesn't matter to me really because the function is the same. So if I duplicate this, my edit cursor is at the start, which means that I can play that section immediately. That's the benefit of it. I also like to know where it's going to go the next time that repeats. And that would really be at the end of the time selection or the end of the item. So if I duplicate this, I don't like having the cursor at the beginning of the item. I would rather manually move back to where I want to preview. But yeah, that's why that's optional. And so by the time you watch this video, maybe I'll talk to uh, Aaron and see if he'll put in a couple more options 
things like um, the alternative duplicate of tracks function where they're grouped together or the time selection uh, thing where it just duplicates the selected area of items. To be fair, he did do exactly what I asked, so maybe he'll put that in as a new option. Well, knowing him, he probably will do that immediately and before this video is out. There is one other thing that I wanna show you. This is actually a custom action, clone or duplicate track without media. This is something I figured out when I saw that the web remote actually has this function, but there was no associated Reaper function for it. So basically this is duplicating a track with all of its settings, effects, name, those sorts of things, but without the media. So I'm using this all the time when I'm recording guitar. I'll set up guitar one, play something, duplicate that without the media, and then do my second track uh, after I change the panning, that sort of thing. But I wanna get all the settings from the original track in there. So I'll show you that custom action here. Track, duplicate tracks, the default duplicate function, select all items and track, remove items. Super simple. This is something that I use a ton every time I'm writing music. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you found this useful. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Support the Reaper blog through Patreon and visit reaperblog.net for a lot more tutorials.